Where we begin does not define who we will become. Before you, I see a path. So you were telling me that this is your first summer not in Greece? Yeah, I am a Greek archaeologist, so I spend most of my summers in Greece, in Turkey, Italy, and my main excavation is the Athenian Agora. So I have been go every year, every summer, um, let me try to do the math, 25 years I've, I've been in Greece every single summer. And so this is totally weird to be in Cincinnati and because Cincinnati is not normal. So it's not like I get to finally enjoy all that Cincinnati offers in the right. summer. That's where we're still at home. Um, so, so I work, the excavation I work at is the Athenian Agora, the marketplace of ancient Athens. So um, this is, which is right below the Acropolis. And I miss it, I miss it. That's what I miss about being, um, home this summer so well I, I you know we should we can we can at least visit virtually <laughs> yes oh I see there's we're walking up we're going we're going up to the Acropolis that's what we're yeah. doing I see it in yeah. the background yeah oh look there's a little shop a little stall there with things on the other side um and this this idea of going up is really important to the experience of going to the Acropolis because you're literally leaving the city behind and going into this sacred space. So I like the fact that they've emphasized the incline here, the the access that goes upward. Myron's bull, that's for real. That comes from Pausanias. Doesn't exist, doesn't survive, of course, but we oh, have okay. literary descriptions of it, which is cool. Oh, wow. That's great. Yeah. And here we have some little... Uh, you want some snacks there to the side? This is incredible. <laughs> the detail here is, it's unbelievable. The level of, um, oh my gosh. And look, there's a painting on the exterior. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited by it. So I'm going to, I'm going to climb on it here. Okay. Yeah. I don't think of, I don't know any evidence for exterior exterior painting like that. But oh, that's really? Interesting, yeah. I do know in other places they have interior paintings in, in this, in the game, but mm -hmm. amazing. And even the dresses, those are great. They're peploi, they're called a peplos. Peploi in the plural, very nice, very, very appropriate. Do you know what time, what date this is supposed to be? Um, it's supposed to take place during the Peloponnesian War. Okay, all right. So about 425 BC is the date. And the, the painting on the sculptures, that's really great, too. I mean, we have traces of these, and there's a there's a branch of study which tries to recover the colors, which is really cool, and it looks like they've taken that into consideration, which yeah. is great, instead of having them all be white, you know. Even the trees are right. That's the right kind of tree. <laughs> um, I am amazed by this. I can't believe the detail. I'm going to keep saying that. It's crazy. <laughs> Um, I mean, somebody really did a lot of research on this. Okay, so now we're going, okay, so here we are, we're going up to the entrance of the Acropolis. Um, and in, in 425, the entrance would have been a single solid ramp. So this switchback is not right. That's, oh, okay. the switchback comes in the Roman period. So, and the, okay, so now we're going up to the gateway. This is the propylia, and it's plural. It means gates, because you can see we have a front entrance and a back entrance, and both could be closed. So we're going through, and um, there you see sneak peeking out is the Athena Promachus, this giant statue of Athena, who was so tall and so shiny that uh, sailors coming into port could see the sun glinting off of her helmet. <laughs> uh -oh. You knew you were home when you saw the glint of uh, Athena. So um, what would she have been made of? She's made out of bronze. She's made out of bronze. Wow. And she's Athena Promachus. She was put up after the Persian Wars as a thank offering to Athena. Promachus means um, sort of strategy and pr before the war, war pro, pro Machus before the war. So okay. she gave them the, the, the uh, ability to be successful in the Persian mm -hmm. War. Um, and now that's the west side of the Parthenon. Oh my gosh, it's look my at you. Sense wow. Of, uh... <laughs> that is that is interesting. Okay, so uh, 
those are the deeds of Heracles from a different temple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this was actually why I climbed up here was because I was a little, I, I thought it was weird that they were bronze because I'm like, aren't these marble? Nope, they're marble and those those sculptures are not actually a pedimental sculpture. They were, they're from a different a Hellenistic altar in at Pergamon. They're gigantomachy. So, so they've got the idea of, of architectural sculpture, but they've plugged in the wrong ones and in a different medium, the wrong medium. Yeah, that's what I, that was immediately stuck out to me because I'm like, these are kind of famously marble <laughs> yeah absolutely the elgin marbles right yeah. <laughs> you know? right this, like i was just like wait i mean like I've, thing, you know but what you're climbing there is pretty accurate that's the anthemion is the the thing at the top we have that we have ex, uh, evidence for that parts of it oh, okay. yeah and these round things are shields and they come in the um, Hellenistic period. Alexander the Great sends the shields from the conquered Persians, sends them back to Athens. So again, those would not have been there at the time uh, when this was supposed to be set. Okay, so now we're inside the Parthenon, and this is the famous Athena Parthenos. She's made of uh, elef uh, gold, and ele gold and ivory. In Greek, it's chris elephantine, chris gold elephantine ivory. Oh, and more paintings. So that's the frieze. That painting is actually the frieze, the sculptured, sculptured marble frieze that appears on the outside of the building. It 